in all things appertaining to the trial, the impeachment of Donald John Trump. We've never been in this situation before. We've never had a former president who is going to go through an impeachment trial in the Senate. And Republicans will spend much of this trial arguing that there's a reason for that, that this is outside the bounds of the Constitution, that this is not a precedent that should be set. Uh, they really feel like this is a former president at this point, someone who's a private citizen and should no longer be subject to this process. Uh, there is some precedent for this happening with judges, um, not with a president before, um, but Democrats will argue that this is well within the bounds. They have legal scholars that, that argue their vantage point of this as well. And they also will argue that this is necessary, that this is something that uh, the country needs to have happen because of what occurred on January 6th at the U.S. Capitol, that this was a searing moment in American history and that someone, the president in this case, a former president, needs to be held to account. So let's walk down Pennsylvania Avenue. At this point, the Trump legal team's position does seem to focus largely on process. They do not want to get into a debate over whether the president's words around the election uh, were the trigger for what we saw happen at the Capitol. They want to very much focus on the idea that Democrats are overreaching, that they're going beyond the bounds of the Constitution. I, I do think that they will have no choice but to deal with the reality of what Democrats will argue, which is that the president is directly responsible for the riots. I think that will be hard for the Trump legal team to ignore completely. We see that the public is largely split on whether Trump should be convicted in the Senate trial, but we do see that the majority of Americans think that he bears at least some responsibility for what happened on January 6th. And, and the reason that you see a little bit of a disconnect there is that there are some people who feel like he's partially responsible, that he played some role, that his rhetoric around the election played some role in inspiring people to storm the Capitol, but they don't necessarily feel that, that, that he bears the full responsibility, the full weight of what happened there. Uh, so they don't feel like he needs to be impeached for it.